The next thing we're going to do is we're going to inspect your key switch. You want to make sure that your key switch moves nice and smoothly. If your vehicle is equipped with lights, you're going to have two positions on your key switch. The first position turns it on. You want to make sure that the key stays in the vehicle when it's in the on position and that it works nice and smooth. The second position is uh, on with the headlights and you want to make sure all your headlights are working as well. The next thing, if your car is equipped with a horn, you just want to push on the button on the floor to make sure the horn is working properly. The next thing we're going to inspect are your accelerator and your brake pedals. We're going to inspect them for smooth operation and proper operation. Uh, you want to make sure that neither one of your pedals are sticking. You want to be able to depress them and release them without any kind of sticking or binding. The accelerator pedal the same thing, all the way to the floor, release it nice and slow, make sure there's no sticky spot whatsoever. We don't want any kind of a safety issue. On your brake pedal, there's a parking brake lock at the top edge. You're going to simply press the top of that, press it till it clicks, that is your parking brake lock. You want to make sure that your pedal will release that parking brake, or you can press the bottom part of the pedal itself, it will also release the brake. But you want no binding and you want to make sure that that parking brake locks and holds. We want to inspect our forward and reverse lever for smooth operation. Um, forward is toward the driver, reverse is away from the driver. As you can hear when we shift to reverse, that there's a warning reverse buzzer when you shift all the way to reverse. You want to make sure that that safety feature is also working. Lastly, what we want to inspect is the operation of the choke lever. The choke lever is used for cold weather starting. You simply want to just pull it out and release it and make sure that it springs back and doesn't stick in the on position. Out is the on position. You want to make sure it returns on its own so that the motor will run smoothly.